since traditional candling, candling won't work with my dark eggs, I do a, what's called a water candling. So this bowl has tepid water, not too hard, hot, so the chick is comfortable, but not too cold as to allow bacteria to be introduced into the egg. Now, there is development because the air sac is grown, because anything that has air in it will float above the water. Anything that doesn't have air in it will go below the water. So once the egg is settled, after putting it in, you just watch it. And when the chick gets uncomfortable, we'll kick, which will cause movement in the egg and movement in the water. Some chicks are stubborn. It takes a while. And some chicks just don't do it. Oh, see, there's movement. There's a live chick in that baby, that baby. So I'll let that one dry out. Go ahead and put it in the incubator because today is the day they're going in the incubator in the hat in the hatcher. So I just like to candle mine before I put them in. And this is the only way I can candle my dark my dark egg ones because I can't see inside. And this is the safest way to do it without hurting them. I leave the bowl in the sink because it's going to have the least amount of movement. If anybody like walks by, because I live in a trailer and everything, not, things aren't like real steady here, but if I leave it in the sink, it's the least amount of movement as far as um, things. Watching through the camera and watching off the camera. Yep, yep, that's movement. So that is how you do a water candling, if you've ever wondered.